Hi everyone, Carl here with another Microman review. Today we're going to be looking at... Assassin, Microman Assassin Force, Assassin, Microman, uh, Schumer? I think that's Schumer. Yes, this is a, uh, 2006 release, I think and hope, so I'm not lying to you here. Let's get a little bit of a closer look at what we've got here, if we can. Come on. I don't think it's... Ah, we, we got it. Uh, this is the packet. This is the guy. He comes in a very sort of normal, standard Microman box. Uh, this is the slightly smaller one. Adjust it. Eh. This is the slightly smaller box. Um, they started producing, I guess, in 2000 and... Maybe 2006? Maybe 2005. They, they got these smaller boxes. You can see they're, they're thin. So, this is what he's going to look like, hopefully. Uh, yeah, he actually will look pretty close to this. He's got some nice gimmicks to do with his assassin force abilities. And he comes with this... Fancy new 32 points of articulation, full action body. Which is different to some of the other Microman. The 2006 Microman, I think, introduced this new body. These guys have it, and the, the Microman uh, Spartan Force all have it. So let's get him out of the card. Bleh. Put him down for a second. He comes with, like pretty much all of them, a set of eight hands. Um, I don't know if we'll bother looking at those. And a base. Fantastic. He comes with a infomercial volume nine. Takara were big fans of this. I don't know if they still are, but they really liked to put out these bizarre little infomercial pamphlets, which I believe contained the story of uh this particular set of Microman. So there you go. If you can read Japanese and care, there is the story of, well, the whole set here. There's the Assassin Force. Let's get out the full set of Assassin Force figures. We'll go through all of these in time, but not just yet. I'm running out of uh, space. And then there are some other ones you can get the uh, Micro Sisters, who are fantastic, but a little fiddly. Uh, the Year Exo, who are a lot of fun. The Road Spartans, who I just mentioned. And, yep, flop. Uh, the Micro Action Series, which will probably interest people who don't care about Micro Men as much. Since, yeah, you've got the infamous Avar and those sort of things. Um, I don't believe these guys are quite Micro Men, or at least, like, these are a little bit weird. I'm not really familiar with Scope Dog. And then some really cute Microman figures that were basically, you could put them into kaiju suits and, I don't know, pretend you're Godzilla. And that's the infomercial booklet. I hope you enjoyed it, because I'm not going to look at them every single time. Because I think all the figures in this line came with the same infomercial booklet. And that's not a lot of fun. Alright, let's get Shuma out of the packet. Clever observers would have seen that the default style that these figures have is called Naked Style. Which is a lot of fun to say and pretend, I guess. I don't know. Look, they're called Naked Style if they're in their not-dressed-up versions. Can we get him to stand? I should get a flatter thing to put the figures on. That's what I should get. All right, there's Shuma. Shuma. Let's get him a little bit closer. And let's watch him flop down. There is Shuma in his naked style. Which basically just means he doesn't have any bits attached. Let's bring him up really close. I'm confident that my camera can handle this. Come on, you almost got there. Come on. Come on, we believe in you. Come on. 
There we go. This is Shuma. Up close and personal. Please don't complain about my cuticles. I don't care. My Shuma example here has a bit of a floppy toe. These ones have a different feature to the other uh, earlier Micromen in that they have working toes. Kind of. <laughs> They're not all floppy. Um, this one's really tight and fine. Uh, it depends on the figure you get. You know, sometimes you get a good foot, sometimes you won't. Uh, that's, you know, the risks of Microman uh, Force, because these guys did not have amazing quality control. Like, literally ever. You've got a very, very high detail sort of paintwork here. Very nice. Uh, their body is, I think, semi-translucent. And I believe, can we, are we going to be able to get this in focus? Because I can tell you what it says. But that's the, you know, that's the production stamp here. We get it. It says Takara. It says Takara 05. We're looking at 05. Although I thought these were released in 06. Oh, well, they could be released in 05. It really doesn't matter. He's got a lovely, handsome help head sculpt. If we can ever convince it to look at his head. I know, I know, it's really hard for you to focus on metal. He has a very handsome head sculpt. And as you saw from the full action body, this guy has 32 points of articulation, which means your head can go all over the place, your shoulders can go up and down and all over the place, you can twist your arms, Raise your hand, twist your wrists. You can twist the wrists. They're a little bit tricky because this plastic is different to this, so they tend to stick. Sometimes it's easier to just take them out. Uh, he has a little bit of torso up and down. Doesn't really do side to side on the top part, but does do side to side on this ball joint socket here. You can bend all of his legs. You can twist them. There's a twist joint here as well. Knees that do all the fancy stuff, and as I showed you, the feet and our ball joint. He can do a lot. I'll not go into detail on every single action force body. Full action body. But I did for this guy, because this is the first full action body I've looked at. So if you're watching this, this is the first full action body. And if you're wondering why I haven't uh, gone crazy with the others, it's because I didn't bother. All right, let's get this guy suited up. Before we finish dressing him, uh, let me just quickly demonstrate how some of these things go on. He mostly has pressure point fraction hold things. So you just kind of put him on his leg, push him into place. Put him on his leg, push him into place. Excellent. And here he is, looking, wow, really neat, I think. Yes, the uh, thing about this particular line is that they are, um, well, assassins. Let's get a closer look at the figure before we uh, get into his items. As you can see, he now has some cool metal crap. It's, it's chromed plastic, but it's very cool. It's got a neat little backpack. Doesn't quite match up perfectly. My sample doesn't snap 100%, and I don't want to force it. He has an arm um, wrist guard thing. And as I showed just before, he has these pretty cool shin guards. But of course... It's not just about looking like a metal rock star. No. As you can see, his guitar is not just a guitar. With the titular Assassin Force, uh, I don't know, subtitle, that means that actually the guitar is a secret metal thing. Well, a spike. But that would be lame. So why have a spike when you can have 
an entire sword hiding in there. Yeah, he's got a chrome sword. And to make it even cooler, this whole guitar can actually peg itself all the way around. And now, instead of a guitar, you have a kind of curious looking weapon thing, which is more or less intended to be placed on his arm as a sort of gun, weapon, shooty laser thing. Observe, hopefully. There we go. So now, I'm gonna let that fall. That side doesn't hold as well. It tends to spring off. So I'll just leave that to the side where it won't bother us. Now he has a cool ass metal gun thing. And you can bend this however you want if you wanna bend it around or whatever. And while he has that, we can also just give him his sword. Completing the assassin component of the titular force. Ugh. And there you go. We've completed the titular assassin force as opposed to, I don't know, the guitar force. Uh, unfortunately, there is nowhere as far as I know to put uh, this guy, this little bit of metal that pops off the front of the guitar. So you kind of have to just put it to the side, I think. Maybe there's somewhere to put it, I don't know. So this was Microman Shuma, one of the first of the Assassin Force, and definitely one of the coolest, with a guitar, a guitar sword, a guitar gun. He's a lot of fun, and yes, he has a chain and a face plant that he can, you know, utilize. This is a this is actually a little bit of metal. This isn't plastic. This is metal. I've been Carl, and this has been Microman Schumer. Thanks for watching.